having a bit of a issue today. The hounds are out trying to hunt the foxes. This is a nature sanctuary. So I gotta chase these guys out. This happens every year. They don't listen. I just saw a hand go by. Um, I'm not fucking happy about this. <sighs> oh, uh, let's go for a walk. I know the trail's better than they do. Basically, I gotta find the humans and they'll call the dogs back. And I think they might be on the neighbor's property and uh, I doubt they're out running. So these guys just, they just push it. They push the boundaries. I hear that. Yeah, they caught the scent of a fox. Look the other dogs. Here, we go. Here they are. Big old pack of hounds. Oi! Go on now! Oi! Oi! Go on! Cool looking dogs. Oi! Oi! But not here. This is an old tradition. It's way antiquated. The dogs roam the forest. The hounds trying to catch the scent of a fox. Then they chase down this poor fox. A whole gang of dogs. Then uh, when the fox gets absolutely tired, can't run anymore. Uh, they corral the fox over to where the humans are. Human holds the fox down. They hit it in the back of the head. And then they cut the ears off of the fox and then wear the ears as lapels, like they're big tough guys or something. And uh, it's a gentry thing that happened here for hundreds of years. Now, quote unquote, the old gentry, yeah, the old Anglo-Irish, they don't really do this anymore. The uh, properties in the forest are all nature reserves. But now the locals like to do it. Well, they don't give it, they do not care about border, property border lines. And it's, uh, man, I'm winning. Uh, it's, it's, my language it's fucked up i do not like it happening here so i caught him in the southern fields uh, a year and a half ago and told him they couldn't do this and they said okay and they're back they don't really give a hoot all right see if you can track down i should have taken the quad Do you know? Well, let's just keep going. Uh, I'm going to find them. All right. Well, I just chased out the uh, towns as good as I could, and I could smell a plastic burning smell. And I could see in this connector right there. Um, that's to the regulator rectifier. I think I got a bad connection there because it's starting to smoke a little bit. The... CDI is brand new. The regulator rectifier is brand new. I did all that last year. It's nothing was warm. It's just this connector. So, uh, yay. All right, so I'm just gonna look at it, uh, take it apart, clean it up, put it back together, and hopefully that fixes it. Yes, every day. Something new breaks, or old breaks, or whatever, at Castle Castle.
Okay, so it's gotten really freaking hot in there. <sighs> Crap. I'm going to need to replace this plug, and I'm not sure what has been causing it. I'm pretty sure I have... I think I have new... I think I have new connectors. But, I mean, look at that. It is absolutely... Damn it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go to the shop and see what I got. Okay, from the when I uh, replaced the rectifier in CDI, I had these new uh, plug connectors that I did not put in because the previous one seemed all right. I noticed that they did look a little old and I sh really should have swapped them. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna be fighting the light. Uh, all because of these hounds. And really because I didn't update the plugs. It's all on me. It's all my fault. Uh, okay, a little tough. I got a new uh, female connector, the male connector. New ones here. Uh, I don't. I didn't have enough wire to just splice onto, so uh, I'm gonna just connect them, right? And I've got little connectors, and I'm gonna use heat shrink. And fingers crossed at that point. Okay. <laughs> well, it's not pitch dark yet, and the cool thing is that I was able to uh, hook up the plugs and the quad runs. Uh, yeah, it's just nice and warm today to be able to be working outside, you know. Check it out. It's not dark yet, though. <laughs> so, um, let me show you. It's going to be a little dark, but... Uh, well, there you go. That's the plug connector. What that's doing is it's taking the high voltage from the stator to the regulator rectifier and then sending it back uh, 12 volts. So, um, yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, I've just, I've been working on this for about two hours and staying positive and it was a little tricky. I've never done that kind of a plug fix before. Uh, you know, putting in the pins, having to crimp them right. Uh, then having to add little jumpers because I didn't have enough cable to work with, making sure I had the right ones in order. And, uh, it's uh well it's all worked out <laughs> yeah <laughs> so uh yeah that's a normal day at castle hassle uh got the hounds out and about and uh i as you know earlier video i was walking trying to find them ran into the pack of hounds and i just said forget this i need to get the quad so i came up took the trailer off grabbed the quad and i haven't really ran the quad in a while like i have today and it was just too much electricity going through the plug was really old and uh, i should have replaced it you know when i got the new regulator rectifier and cdi i didn't listen to myself i figured it was gonna be all right because i could see it was a little brown in there um so uh yeah i was able to chase one hound out and the poor guy, and then he got lost, and he kept on coming back up to me. I did not have any video, any video of that. Um, and he was all freaked out. And I had to, like, I pet him. I was like, hey, buddy, you know, I'm not mad at you. I just don't like what your humans are doing. Leave the foxes alone and go back that way. And I got him down the hill back to where he came from. And uh, might be a, might have been a she, a bitch dog. Uh, so, you know, that happened. And uh, I guess my karma for scaring the hound is that this happened. Started to smell that burning acrid smoke and plastic. So, all right, it's starting to get dark really fast now. And uh, what I need to do is hook up 
that hose there and then a really awkward bottom hose that's hard to see right now um, for the uh, uh, what am I trying to say for the for the my brain is not working right now the air filter yeah the air filter box that there this thing I'm gonna take this out to get to the plug so um yeah let me put it all back together and uh, fingers crossed, uh, everything's going to be all right. I uh, shouldn't say that. I'm ready for anything. Hey, look at that tree up there. There's a bunch of ravens hanging out in the tree. Pretty cool. All right, signing out.